Hello, my name is Juan Flores, and I'm going to teach you today how to solve a problem involving fractions. Uh, okay, let's start off by reading it. One serving of snackles is two-thirds of a cup. Jane wants to eat three-fourths of a serving of snackles. What fraction of a cup of snackles should Jane eat? All right, so let's go ahead and start this problem by just reading the first sentence, see what it's saying. One serving of snackles is two-thirds of a cup. All right, so our whole is a cup. Let's go ahead and draw that. That's one cup, and the serving, or I mean, uh, yeah, one serving is two-thirds of a cup. So we know our whole right here is one cup, and the two-thirds of a cup is one serving. All right, let's go ahead and read the second uh, sentence, see what it's asking. Jane wants to eat three-fourths of a serving of snackles. Okay, so the wording here of a serving indicates that our whole changes to the two. To the two. That's our new whole. Let's go ahead and draw that so uh, you guys can see it. This is the same as this because it's a serving. And Jane wants to eat three-fourths of this, of a serving. So we could... Turn this into fourths by cutting the halves into two, meaning they're in fourths now. And she wants to eat three fourths of this. So let's go ahead and write or draw it like that. Three fourths of a serving of snackles, okay? So this is three fourths of a serving. Now let's get to the question What fraction of a cup of snackles should Jane eat? So essentially, what it's asking is, what fraction of this, what fraction is this of the cup? So our whole goes back to the cup. That's our new whole. So we want to find out what three-fourths of the serving is in relation to the full cup. So we want to know what that double-shaded region is. And we can't really tell just by looking at that, so we're going to go ahead and do common denominators. So we know that this is two-thirds, and uh, we know that this is three-fourths, and we can find common denominator by multiplying the two denominators. So let's go ahead and do that, giving us 12. So our new math drawing will be in 12, so let me go ahead and do that. All right, so our new fraction is divided into 12s. So we want to know what 2 thirds of 12 is in order to shade the, uh, the correct region, the equivalent region of the 2 thirds. So we know that uh, in order to find this answer, we would have to see what times 3 gives us 12. So what times 3 gives us 12? Uh, or we could do 12 divided by 3, which we know is 4. So 3 times 4 gives us 12. So what we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So 2 times 4 gives us 8. So 8 twelfths is equivalent to 2 thirds. So 8 twelfths is one serving. Let's go ahead and do that. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so we know 8 twelfths is one serving. Let's go ahead and, like we did here, drop down the new whole, which is now in eights. Here it was in, in two, but here we have eight, show, eight total uh, regions shaded. So let's go ahead and drop this down. Make it as even as I can. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we that's go ahead and line lines up with that. All right. So now we need to turn three fourths. We need to find what three fourths of eight is, 
And we could do that by doing the same thing that we did up here. Uh, what times four gives us eight? We could ask ourselves that, or we could just do eight divided by four, which gives us two. So we know four times two gives us eight. So what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. Three times two gives us six. So now we know that three fourths of one serving is equivalent to six eighths of one serving. So we could go ahead and shape these six in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we see here, it lines up one, two, three, four, five, six. It covers this. like we did up here, except now we can see it better because we have equivalent, equivalent uh, sides, equivalent pieces, I mean, and we can go ahead and double shape this region and count how many there are, double shade it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, not shaded. So six out of 12 pieces are shaded in our whole of a cup. So we know that six twelves of a cup of snackles should, uh, James should eat. And we could go ahead and check that by multiplying the two fractions because essentially what this question is asking is what is two thirds, uh, actually it's asking what is three fourths of two thirds since it's asking what three fourths of one serving is, we know that one serving is two thirds and when it's asking for three-fourths of two-thirds, we know we multiply because when a fraction is of something, it indicates multiplication. So three over four times two over three. And for fractions, you just multiply straight across. Three times two, six. Four times three, 12. Six, 12. Six over 12. Showing our answer is correct.